Alright, hello sophisticated savages and domesticated beasts. This is I, Phoenix, I'm walking and I'm talking. You've got to be quick because I've only got another two minutes, once again. So, now I would like to talk about a very simple thing, a simple thing which determines all of complexity regards to how we view the world, and in particular, the people in it. We are only able to recognize the values and the qualities and the feelings in others that we first cognize in ourselves. This is to say that it is not possible at all to recognize in someone else something which we haven't already discovered and cognized inside. Not possible. There is a tribe uh, where these people learn to live peacefully. It's like a mini utopia. No abuse, no violence. If somebody accidentally hurts someone else, or does something silly, and it lands them in a, in a negative situation, people don't shout and cuss and abuse, make each other feel bad, get angry. They just let each other know that if they're okay, and they move on. It's all about love. So if you weren't taught anger, if you had never seen an angry person, yeah, as a child you experiment and rah, rah, kick and moan, but if there's absolutely nothing to reinforce that, then those behaviors fade pretty quick outside of childhood. At least I'd assume, I, I need to research that a bit more. Um, so the idea is that when you relate to other people and what makes them them to you, when you identify someone and you evaluate what it is that makes them who they are, and I mean their qualities, their values, their feelings, and their sentiments, you are only able to relate to yourself through them. You can only relate, or more so, you can only relate to them for what you, for the capacity that you can relate to yourself. Only as far as that capacity. You can't understand the qualities of someone else if you don't possess them yourself. This is where there is a lot of room for error and misinterpretation and mistranslation and distortion because no one two people are the same and at the end of the day we really don't see anyone else in the world not really not for who they are but we only see ourselves in different reflections and people that share similar qualities to us we see more of ourselves in and we take kinship with those people we feel more fond of them and we bond with them but really we're just bonding with ourselves because I want to get a tattoo one day with two mirrors looking into each other and it's going to say above the mirrors I see so much of myself in you.